to Ricardo's Crossing. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the angel wisdom today. So let's choose a passage from angel wisdom. It's 365 Meditations and Insights from the Heavens by Terry Lynn Taylor and Mary Beth Crane. Now I have done, I have done um, re with it before, I have used this book before. Um, with choosing a passage and then using a tarot and oracle deck. In this case, Angel Tarot by Travis McHenry and Angel Oracle Deck by Ambika Waters. So let's have a look and see what message we're going to reflect on today. So let's have a look. So, an angel reminder. No matter what you do or how far away you go, you can always come home. A true home is a place of acceptance, a place where you know the light is always on to greet you. Some of us were fortunate enough to have grown up in such a place. Others of us have never known a true home. But regardless of whether or not we have a physical place that we can call home, the angel's home is always open to us. It is ours to take refuge in from the cares of the world and to return to regardless of how far we may stray. Just as the prodigal son was welcomed back after his waywardness, we are always welcomed back to the angel's loving heart and the welcoming is always a little sweeter when we return after one of our own reckless adventures. Wiser through our mistakes and more ready for love. So as we journey, we know that the angels are always there, both to support our need for risk exploration and new experiences and to provide a resting place for our hearts and souls. Whenever you feel far from home, take time out to do a meditation. Get in a completely relaxed position, close your eyes, breathe deeply and envision as clearly as you can the angels welcoming you into their and your home. See all the details of this home, interior and exterior. Create the ideal home for yourself. See the angels in it. And know that it is yours to return to in meditation whenever you need guidance, comfort or rest. An angelic reflection. At the angel's home, the doors are never locked and the light of love is always left on for me. At the angel's home, the doors are never locked and the light of love is always left on for me. An angel reminder, no matter what you do or how far away you go, you can always come home. So let's take a moment to reflect on that. Let's just take a moment. Let's pull out the angel tarot. And angel oracle and have a look and see what cards come out in this moment for us. So we're thinking about our home. So let's have a look about our home what's important in regards to home oh okay the magician okay Nathaya the generous god spiritual wisdom and magic help one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets but for me the magician can also be about using your skills and your abilities looking beyond the illusion with what's going on and to manifest your own reality so let's have a look what else what is, tell us a little bit more about this magician in regards to the home tell us a little bit more about the magician in regards to the home okay we have five of cups and page of pentacles okay five of cups to me tells us there are some things that we let spill over that we cannot control and there's other things that we can focus on in a much more positive way so we have both life life's ups and downs um emotionally uh with the healer we have prosperity destruction of the enemy and delivery from bondage as a part of the reading but let's have, look at five of cups to me is very much in a in a sense of there are some things in life we cannot control but there's other things in life that we can so if we're thinking about the home look at the things that we can do within the home and don't sweat the small stuff 
basically is what I get you. Don't don't worry about spilt milk. Don't sweat the small stuff. Then we've got page of pentacles. Now page to pentacles. Got with Uzalil. God sung above all loyalty and allegiance, friendships and reconciliation. But page of pentacles to me is a sense of a lot to learn, discover. It's someone, it's very youthful energy. Um, it just says to me within the home area that we have a lot to learn and discover within our own homes. And that's really important to see. feels like we're always learning. So look at the things. So you're learning about the things that you can and cannot control. And we're still trying to find that balance. I think that's really important here when we're thinking about manifesting our own reality. We have to look at what we can and cannot control um, within our own home. And to, and to keep learning about that process is kind of important. It feels like we're always revealing what's important. It feels like we're always discovering. Um, things change. Like there's always changes and things going on within our homes. And um, we're learning and discovering what we can and cannot change. And sort of Seven of Swords to me is like something's being taken from us, right? Like something is um, stolen. But it also can be about taking back that idea or that perception that we may have had in regards to the home. I feel like we're feeling like something has been taken from us within our home. And it's about taking back that, being empowered in our own home. Um, Manakal talks about knowledge of good and evil, appeases divine anger, and cures epilepsy. Okay, so it's kind of interesting. It's God nurturing and maintaining everything. But for me, Seven of Swords is very much about taking back what was. So something, we feel like there's this perception that something's being taken from us in our home, right? And so it's about taking back that empowerment within oneself is kind of really important here so here we have the home that we're always welcome back into our own home right we can always return when we leave and so it's really important if we're thinking about our own home that or the home of the angels whatever that is for us um that sacred space that divine energy that we have it really is about that manifesting our own reality, manifesting what we want, using our skills and abilities to manifest what we want, to look beyond the illusion of what we, our perception of what was or what is, and being able to look at what we can and cannot control within our own environment, being able to have a moment to feel like emotionally that we can overcome any struggles or any challenges that we have within our home environment you know there are some things there are life's ups and downs or some challenges within our own home um, but I think overall that there's a lot to learn and discover lessons to learn in our environment enabling us to feel like we've got this sense of being able to take back or feel empowered on our own journey. I think that's kind of really important. So let's look and see which angel is going to speak to us today. What angel? Right. Here we have Angel of Wisdom. Wisdom comes from the depths of my experience. So the experience so we're talking about the home, right? So the experiences that you have in the home, even the Things that are challenging brings wisdom, brings knowledge to you. Kind of really important. So let's have a look at the Angel of Wisdom. See if we can get a little bit more information here. Let's have a look at the Angel of Wisdom. cherubim the angel of wisdom angel of the heaven of paradise to bring wisdom into the lives of us all gifts for earth it can help you to become receptive to the wisdom of deity find wisdom in your life seek wisdom in all your experiences the angel is seen guarding the gates of paradise 
the angel prevents all from entering who do not know their own divine nature. The candle signifies the flame of wisdom, without which we are unable to experience the joys of paradise. So look at the experiences that we've gained within our own home and see how we can use that to move forward on our journey. Kind of interesting. I love that. Okay, so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and a blessed day. Thank you.